So now we're going to graph the absolute value function with four transformations. Uh, let's go ahead and pull the transformations out one by one, horizontal stretch. It's always going to be the multiplication. It's that two. Now it's the opposite of what it looks like because it's horizontal. So it's actually going to stretch by a half. Horizontal shift is the plus one. So plus one actually moves in the negative direction or to the left one vertical stretch that's outside the function that's that one half right there and last up there is no vertical shift so I'm just gonna write a plus zero right here so this is our vertical shift I'll just do an arrow up zero it will have no effect so there's really no vertical shift which means when you're answering this question, your answer, I think it goes, uh, your base function first, this will be part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, your answers for four and five will be the same uh, because there is no vertical shift, so it has no effect on the graph. All right, so our base function is absolute value x, and we graph this, We get the vertex at 0, 0. You can make a table of values too. Uh, this goes up to the left, up to the right. Now I see that we have a half coming up, multiply by a half. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose my point to be this negative 2, 2 and positive 2, 2. Because if I choose 1, 1, when I cut it in half, we're going to have fractions. and not the biggest fan of fractions when you can avoid them. So we're going to avoid them here. Now our vertical stretch by a half also is going to produce fractions, but again, we're using a y coordinate of two, so it won't mess us up here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our stretch. So stretch by a half, and the function will be two times x in the absolute value. Okay. So our new x coordinates are going to be one half of what they were before. So negative two times a half is negative one. Zero times a half is zero. And two times a half is one. Y coordinates are going to remain unchanged. So there's our three points. And these should be straight lines here. There we go. So there's our graph. Now we're going to shift left 1. y equals absolute value 2x plus 1 absolute value. Okay. Now shift left 1. You're going to take your x coordinates and move them left 1 or subtract 1 from each. So we have negative 2, negative 1, and 0. The vertex went from x coordinate of 0 to negative 1, so I drew that first. Now the points with the y coordinate of 2 also shift left 1, so they're going to appear right here. Now you should have the exact same shape, just drawn in a different place. So that's our graph for this. Now we're vertically stretching by a half. All right, and that will take our y coordinate of two and multiply by a half. So it'll become this two right here is gonna shrink to a one and the old y coordinate of zero times a half still zero. So it won't move. I don't know why I drew the positive one x coordinate. We don't need it. All right, so I'm shrinking my y coordinates, so we're gonna have positive one as the y coordinate. So 
So there's our three points. It looks like I chose a different blue. Whoopsie daisy. All right, there's our three points graphed. Now, one thing you should be thinking is this is the original uh, shape of the graph, just shifted left to one, uh, which sometimes that happens. So what did we do? We compressed it horizontally by a half and vertically by a half. And that produced the exact same shape as the original graph. Uh, of course, the shift, you can still see the shift left one happening right here. All right, last up, no vertical shift. Oh, fantastic. So we're going to just do up of zero. No vert shift. Uh, and so it's the same graph. Now, if I had a vertical shift, I would take the y values of 0 and 1, and I'd add or subtract whatever value to them, moving this up or down.